This is the Facecam 4K, the latest webcam released by Elgato, and it has one unique feature I have never seen in any other webcam, well, ever. Hey folks, Simon here from Simon's Reviews. So the Elgato Facecam 4K is a camera that sits in between the Facecam Mark II from last year and also the Facecam Pro on the upper end. So unlike the Facecam Mark II, this is capable of recording up to 4K 60 frames per second, so it's not just a 1080p camera. But it also has HDR support up to 4K 30 and a nice wide 90 degree field of view. It offers uncompressed video and something I do like is that when you fiddle about with the settings you can save them directly onto the camera itself. And you can see from the straight out of the box footage I recorded for you, it has some absolutely fine image quality. So I mentioned at the start this webcam has a unique feature for webcams that I've not seen in any other model. The Facecam 4K has a 49mm thread over its built-in lens that you can attach some optional accessories such as this macro lens here or maybe a black mist filter or a CPL filter. In fact you have a huge wide choice of creative possibilities. Now something to be aware of this is probably on the larger size of what you would want to actually connect into the thread here mainly because if you're using the inbuilt monitor mount you don't want to overload it too much however i find this is absolutely fine for example the 90 degree field of view is absolutely fantastic especially if you want to capture that desk setup but if you did want to have a focus more on the head itself then something like this is absolutely perfect and again not something you can do with other webcams and here's a brief example of me using the webcam with a black mist filter. So this should soften the edges around any harsh light sources that are in the shot, such as the lamp I have behind me. And in my opinion, this works better in reflections, such as in screens, which I don't have a lot of right now. But again, just something else you can do with this versatile webcam model. Now inside the box itself, you get the webcam, the monitor mount, which uses a standard thread. So if you're not using this, you can actually connect the mount to a standard tripod. And also included is a really high quality two meter USB cable. Now, interestingly, this camera is missing two things you might expect to see. The first, there is no inbuilt microphone here, so you will have to provide your own audio solution. That's not a problem for me. Let's be honest, webcam mics suck. And the other thing that you may expect to see but isn't here is autofocus. It's just not something that's that needed. So the Facecam 4K has been specifically designed as an intended webcam with a fixed focal length between 30 and 120 centimeters. That's at 4K resolution. As long as you remain in that range, you are not gonna have any issues with the focus and you're not gonna have any of the issues that you get with autofocus, such as that constant blurring. And you get full control over your PTZ in the camera hub. So let's go ahead and check that out. So I'm inside the Camera Hub app now. You can see there's a whole bunch of options here that you can play about with in order to get things looking right for you. So really easy to control this. We can go ahead and zoom right up to 400%. I don't think you want to see that. So let's zoom back out again. We do get full control over the picture. So if we want to increase contrast, then of course we can do that. And same with saturation, if you want to have a little bit more depth to your color, then you might want to increase this a touch. Exposure, I like to keep this on automatic by default. I think the app does a pretty good job at detecting the correct exposure levels. But if you don't have the best lighting, then you can still just increase that ISO value. That will do a decent job at compensating. You can mirror the image. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Little bit click of a button, you can flip yourself upside down if that's what you want to do. <laughs> uh, but the other thing, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can play about with some of these other settings. You will have to download the SDK packs. If, for example, with the AI background, I select blurred, it will just lag for a moment as it sets that up. But there we go, no green screen involved, and it's given us that awesome depth of field effect with the background. There's also some other backgrounds here, presets that you can choose if you want to. And I think the actual system does a really good job of not needing a green screen. Or you can go ahead and add your own background if you wish. You do get some artifacting. If I move around here, you can see that. But for the most part, when you're using this as a webcam, for example, for live streaming, or if you are in a conference call and you're just sitting in one place without much movement, it's not going to be all that notable. And it does a great job. 
And once you've adjusted your PTZ, your color grading, your noise reduction, added any AI effects such as background blur, you can actually then import the entire image into other software such as OBS Studio using the Elgato virtual camera. As of right now, that only supports up to 1080p, but Elgato have told me that they are going to be putting out a firmware update in order to expand that to 4K support. But overall, the Facecam 4K is a great successor to the Facecam Mark II. It's coming in at £180 here in the UK, or $200 in the US, or €200, Euros, or $260 Canadian dollars. I like the fact that Elgato have included relevant features here. One example is that the Facecam 4K is fully compatible with the recently released Nintendo Switch 2. And that fixed focus I find works really well, stops that auto focus that you sometimes get with other webcams, constantly blurring the image. And overall, definitely a nice bit of kit. Folks, let me know your thoughts of the Elgato Facecam 4K down in the comments, and I'll see you next time.